morning lovelies it is Susie Ashworth here founder of the calm birth school and mindset and messaging mentor for pre and postnatal specialists like you and it is really peaceful I'm down at the beach doing my normal morning walk I almost didn't pop on because I was like hey Hannah because I haven't had a wash yet, I look really minging. <laughs> Morning, Kerry. And I thought, oh no, this, this isn't the side of me that I want people to see. And then I thought, this is exactly the reason why I need to come on right now. This week we are doing some really deep and transformative Hey Ashley work in the Mastermind group where we're looking at our triggers and the judgments that we make on ourselves and other people. And this work is really far removed from all of the tactical stuff that we do and that people want to dive into. But it's really, really, really fucking important because what I intuitively have known to be true, which is we are all capable of achieving anything that we desire and you know I believe that we all have the potential to step into our own limitless potential I absolutely know this to be true this morning when I was walking along the beach I just had this sudden realization this sudden feeling that I am not even operating at 10% of what I'm capable of and the work that we are doing in the mastermind group is the why that is the case and how we can change it. So why is it? It's because I spend a huge amount of time hiding and denying parts of my personality and parts of who I am. And I'm so good at it that I don't even realise how much of that energy, of my energy, is spent in uh, maintaining the facade. Which, obviously, this morning I'm like, oh, fucking Suze, you look really rough. You don't want to go on and do a live when you're looking this rough. <laughs> you know, it's not the perfect preened presentation that I would like people, like to be perceived it's not the perception that I want people to have of me, that kind of imperfect, imperfectness. And we are all doing this all of the time. And what was really interesting yesterday is when I asked the women for their triggers and the judgments that they make, one of the comments was, well, I'm not really that judgmental. And you know, most of the people on this live stream, most of the people that are gonna watch this and resonate with me, will also think of themselves as being people who are quite open-minded and not that judgmental. And I just wanna call you on that bullshit. You know, we are judging people all of the time. And the work that we are doing in the group is identifying where we're judging people where we're calling people out where we're kind of looking down our noses at people because those things that we're noticing in other people are the things that we are denying in ourselves and if we want to be able to step into our limitless potential to achieve everything that we are capable of achieving we have to acknowledge all of ourselves does this make sense to you is this making you or even if it doesn't make sense is this making you think if so let me know give me some likes give me some hearts if you're thinking what the actual fuck is she talking about also write that in the comments because this is quite new for me this is quite different from the stuff that I normally share and teach because I err on the side of only focusing on the positive and wanting to protect my energy from anything that is negative. And so I really shy away from any negativity and thinking about the negative sides of my personality. But in order to get to where I wanna get, which is to 
have a shed load of books, to be on stage in front of the thousands of people, to be impacting you know, thousands, millions of people, is that possible if I say that half of me, half of my personality is wrong, you know, that I'm not giving, that I'm unable to give all of me? Is that possible? I don't think it is. And so I suppose the challenge that I am setting for you today is to ask yourself at what capacity do you think you're operating at if you think about all of the things that you want all of the things that are possible for you which in my opinion is absolutely everything how close are you to that right now morning emma if you are anything like me you are nowhere freaking near and that isn't, shouldn't be a depressing thought for you because where you are right now is exactly where you're supposed to be and hopefully you're in a space where you are excited about what is possible for you. But in order to get to what is possible for you, morning Mark, in order to get to where it is you want to be, what parts of you, how much more of you can you accept? How many judgments can you let go of for yourself? And if you need to work out the judgments that you need to let go of for yourself, look at how you're judging other people. The more of that stuff you can embrace, the more compassion you can show for yourself about the things that you don't like for yourself, and the more that you can own those things, the easier it is for you to show up in your wholeness more that you show up in your wholeness, the more you can be open to receiving everything that is possible for you. I don't know if any of this is making sense, um, uh, but this is the stuff that we're talking about right now. And this is the stuff that is already making a difference to how people are viewing themselves and what it's going to allow them to be able to do, how it's going to allow them to show up with their, in their personal relationships, in their professional relationships. It's opening up the opportunity to just be more, which is exciting. So look, I am going to go because I can't see any comments. I don't know if this is making any sense at all, but I wanted to share that with you this morning. Um, um, have a beautiful day, peeps, and look to see where you can let go of your judgments so you can operate at a higher level today. Mwah. Au revoir.